What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to another OGC Nice career mode. This is episode number 13. And as we take a look at the top scorers, Mario Balotelli is sitting on top with nine goals. Going into January, we do not have any games leading up until the 5th and I went ahead and put some center backs onto my shortlist. Now, the center backs I've chosen are for specific reasons. They're good ball playing center backs. They're pretty solid right now and they still do have a few good years ahead of them. Uh, they're not per se realistic and I don't exactly know how much money we're gonna have in the January transfer window because it said we got 18 million for our succession in the Champions League and for some reason I didn't get it yet. I'm still waiting on that. So we have Kevin Vogt, I'm scouting him. We have Inigo Martinez, very good. Uh, the only thing he lacks is vision, but other than that, his long passing is good and his defensive stats are good. We have Mark Bartra, who I'm scouting, and we have Joel Matip, who's solid 85, could be one of, well, is gonna be one of our best center backs at the club. Even though Pedro Enrique has been killing it this season, I'm not gonna lie, he's been playing very, very well. So we're gonna scout them. We're gonna see how much money we eventually have in January. And then we'll make the assessment then and sign one of these center backs. So we've got our final scouting report on Kevin Vogt. 6'4", 81 overall. And look at that, 87 sprint speed, 66 acceleration, 86 strength. He does have 67 vision along with 83 long passing, good short passing, good standing tackle. I would honestly play him in the heart of defense. And this is one of the players I'm actually really looking at. He really catches my eye. Uh, he's cheaper than most of the other center backs. He's 26. So we'll just have to wait and see in January. Got ourselves a transfer offer for Patrick Berner from Sochaux. He's worth about 1.2 million. And uh, I think we can get that for him. I really didn't play with him at all. Maybe a few games here and there. But that's what I'm going to be counter offering. Another transfer offer for Loris. He's worth 750000 He's unhappy and he's poor in form. So I'm going to be re uh, counter offering 750000 Let's see if Ajaxio would like to pay that. And Neres would like a contract extension. But I don't have enough money to actually give it to him right now. So we're taking on Olympic Lyon. And they're in 16th place. It's just not going good for them ever since they lost La Gazette. And uh, yeah, I want to play this game. But after seeing they're in 16th place, I don't think I actually want to play it. But let's see how many decent games we have here in January. We don't have that many. So I'm going to go ahead and play this match. It's against Lyon. They have some good players. I don't know why they're not playing good. But let's get into it away from home. Let's see if we can start off this episode with a victory. It's only one change up to this lineup. I uh, Like I said, and one of the reasons I was actually scouting youth players, I want to get them involved in this series as much as I can. So I'm going with Lafont, Sar, Le Marchand, Pedro Enrique, Perea, Seri, Cozielo, Digne, Saint Maximin playing on the right side, Balotelli and Zeroal are five star skillers youth player is going to be playing at left wing for this match. Olympique Lyon have only 15 goals scored this season. We have 11 goals allowed. So yeah, like it said, a mountain to climb. Let's do this. I'm hoping for a victory here. Anything else would be unsatisfactory. Alain Sar gets taken down. Referee, where's the foul? Referee, where's the foul? Traore sends that one wide, but should have been called a foul. 37 minute Olympique Lyon coming close to making a 1-0. Good ball to Perea. He's gonna get to it. Good ball. Avoids the sliding challenge. Yo. The passing makes no sense today. I can't even get a pass to one of my players. Balotelli, can he intercept? Balo into St. Max. St. Max gonna take the shot. St. Max him in. Okay. He's complaining about the passing. Interception. Nothing was working in this first half. And obviously, 45th minute, we're gonna be scoring ourselves a goal. St. Max him in. Balotelli with a good interception. Good pass. And that is a finish to the keeper's right. No chance for the goalkeeper. That's going to be his second goal this season. He hasn't been scoring that much. But hopefully in the second half of the season, he does. 1-0 going into the second half. That's a good ball forward. 90th minute. Let's watch the cross into the middle. Here's Cornet. Cornet, is he going to play it on the floor? Somebody needs to get on that. That's a shot by Toussaint. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? Let's bomb this one up the field. Ken Dolberg just send this one to someone okay Zeroal can he get to it that is a good ball Zeroal okay what is the goalkeeper doing Zeroal with the slowest of headers <laughs> oh my goodness I'm never gonna see a goal like that again what was the goalkeeper doing and the Algerian youth player what was the goalkeeper doing what was he actually doing 
Okay, I'm never gonna see a goal like that again in my life. Ferad Zerwal is gonna be scoring his first goal in his second match. And yeah, that's 2-0. And it looks like this game is going to be ending that way. 2-0 victory, 3 points. I've never seen that from a goalkeeper. Why didn't he just head the ball? We win this first match of the episode. So right after that match, it looks like Simon Gere and Serge Konate have decided to terminate their youth contracts. Gere was promising and I didn't offer him a contract yet. So I don't know, Konate, I offered him no money. He... He climbed it and then he decided to terminate his contract. What do you want to do? We have the quarterfinals coming up against Stade de Reims. So, uh, so show have said that they're only willing to pay 975,000 for Burner. I'm gonna be accepting that. And I still don't know why we haven't received our prize money in the Champions League. Ajaxio only willing to pay 725,000 for Loris. I'm gonna be accepting that. That's only 25,000 under his valuation. So next match is coming up against Stade de Reims. And I think they're either at the bottom of the table or I don't even know. But we're gonna be rotating the lineup. It's a quarterfinal, so... I don't know. I, I don't know what still which one is the better cup, or I don't even know if they're both good. Whatever. We're going with Pasquiz, Alessar, Boscagli, Suquet, Cosiello, Lusamba, who just scored. Cyprian, Nerez, who asked me for a new contract. We still don't have that much money. Isaac and Zeroal, who came off a goal last game. Let's simulate today in the match. That is a 2-0 victory. Casper Dober getting on the score sheet. Lusamba getting on the score sheet. 2-0 victory, we're heading into the next round. Patrick Berner has been sold to Sochaux for 975,000. Board has allocated us 700,000 to our current transfer budget. So we got 385,000 to our current transfer budget because of the Coupe de Ligue. Still didn't get the Champions League money. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Uh, Loris has been sold to Ajaxio for 725,000, Board has allocated us 525,000 and our final youth squad uh, report from Algeria has brought us back absolutely nobody, like literally absolutely nobody catches my eye right now. I'm rejecting every single one of them and he looks alright but I'm gonna be rejecting him. I think I'm gonna be done with youth players right now because uh, yeah most of them aren't being used and we're just scouting for no reason wasting money so that's one of the reasons I'm gonna be stopping the youth scouting. Alright next match coming up against Mets and uh, they're not on the top half of the table. Malangsar is suspended for this match. They have three victories and one loss in their last three matches. Going back to the 3-4-3, Lafont, Perea, Boscagli, Le Marchand, Pedro, Enrique, Digne, Seri, Cosiello, Neres, Balotelli, who just scored in the fifth minute, and Saint-Maximin. Let's simulate to the end of the match, and it's gonna finish 1-0. Goal scored by Mario Balotelli, Dober came on, wasn't able to score. But yeah, pick up another three points here in this match against Mets. Next match is coming up in the Coupe Nationale against Troyes. We have a lot of matches here in January. We don't have a lot of money, and then we have a game coming up against PSG in the Coupe de Ligue semi-final, so... Yeah, that match is going to be played 100%. So let's go ahead and simulate this match coming up against Troyes. Um, once again, we're going to be rotating our lineup. And uh, yeah, we're going with the exact same lineup as the one against Reims. I don't know which one is the bigger cup, but we're going with Pasquier, Jalais, Sarbos, Cagli, Suquet, Cosiello, Lusamba, Cyprian, Neres, Isaac, and Zeroal. Jalais picking himself up a yellow card. In the third minute, let's simulate to the end of the match. That is a 2-1 victory goal scored by Cosiello and Cyprian. And uh, we're going into the next round of the Coupe Nationale. So yeah, game coming up against Ager. Gonna be rotating once again. Don't worry, we're gonna be having a game soon against PSG. So Pasquet Perea asked me to play. So he's gonna be playing Sarbos, Cagli, Suquet, Cosiello, Liz Melu. He's coming in every once in a while. Cyprian, who just scored in the ninth minute. Mina, Doberg, and Zeroal. He's getting a, a lot of game time. And I'm happy about that. Let's simulate to the end. 3-1 victory. Goal scored by Pereira, Cosiello, and Cyprian. And uh, yeah, another three points in Ligue 1. The so next match coming up against PSG in their last match in the Coupe de Ligue or something like that was a 2-2 draw against Monaco. They're doing quite well this season and we're playing at the Parc des Princes. Let's get into it in the semi-finals. All right, so here's our lineup. Lafont, Sar, Le Marchand, Enrique, Pereira, Seri, Cosiello, Digne, Mina, Balotelli, and Saint-Maximin. So here's PSG's lineup. Don't know their formation, but they're going with Trap, Munier, Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, Cruzawa. They're going with Matuidi, Verati, Carvalho, Guedes, Cavani, and Neymar. The same exact formation that we're playing, the 4-3-3 holding. There's Verati, there's Neymar. Let's do it. Coupe de Ligue semi-finals at the Parc des Princes. Neymar causing a problem, goes almost goes down Malangsar. Good, good block by Malangsar. Very nicely done to stop Neymar. 
Teddy. Let's get this forward to Perea. Perea on the counter attack. See Santi Mina. He has space. He's got the space. He's going to push it one more time. Who do we have coming into the middle? Santi Mina. Good dribbling into. Okay, come on. Counter attacks are just not working today. Santi Mina straight into the hands of Kevin Trapp. And that's the end of the first half. Neres. Showing some good speed straight away once he gets on. He's got Thiago Silva chasing him. He pushes it a little bit too far. Here's Seti in the box. It gets blocked. Okay, St. Maximin is going to pick this one back up. Can we play it into someone? St. Max into Digne. Digne to Cyprian. Cyprian Balotelli right back to Cyprian. Cyprian outside the box. Let's go for a shot. Cyprian has scored a goal like that once before. But that one goes very wide. Alright, so that's the end of 90 minutes. I'm assuming we're going into extra time unless this is one of those cups that goes directly into penalties. But I highly doubt it. So, two halves of extra time. And if anything, we do have penalties coming up. Watch it. Kurzawa. Somebody needs to clear this ball. Here's Hesse. Into Verazzi. Great save by Alban Lafont. And they've got everybody forward. Don't know why. They're trying to score themselves a goal. Looks like they're going to play it short. So we don't have time to send it upfield. Here's Verratti. Crosses that one into the back post. Le Marchand gets that one away. Here's PSG once again right before the end of the half. Rabiot or somebody needs to... No, not Rabiot. Rabiot's on the other team. What am I, dumb? That's a clearance away by... I don't remember who. Say Max, can he get to this one before Thiago Silva? Is that going to be the end of the first half of extra time? Balotelli touches it. Balotelli once again. We go up, but that's the end of the first half. Get into the second. PSG had two corners at the end, but they came to nothing. Neymar on the wing. Neymar. Is he going to cross it in or what is he going to do? Neymar, he eventually does. Hesse Malangsar needs to clear this one. Okay, I don't know if there was going to be a corner or whatever. But Cyprian takes this one. That is a good ball to Mario Balotelli. Balotelli around the defender. He's going to push it. Mario coming in on goal. Here's Super Mario gets taken. Ref. Ref, how was that a clean challenge? How in the world was that a clean challenge? How? He definitely took down Balotelli. It's okay. We still have the ball. Say Max. Balo. Balo needs to find St. Max. He does. He's onside. He's onside. I know he's onside. St. Max. He's coming. Can we play this one into the back post? And Trap picks it up. And it looks like we're going into penalties. We're going into penalties. Don't know how Balotelli wasn't fouled. But uh, yeah, Balotelli, let's put him the third shooter. Let's put him the third shooter. I believe in him being the third shooter. Cavani steps up. Lafont needs to come up big here with a great save. I'm assuming he's going bottom right. I'm assuming he's going bottom left. That is a great penalty by Cavani. Neres left foot. Let's go top left. Neres into the back of the net. Great goal. Great penalty. Rooted to the spot. The goalkeeper. Here is Neymar. I assume he's going bottom right. Uh, okay. He hits off the post. Neymar. The 220 million Euro, I don't even know, player hits the post here, Seti, Seti, let's go on his side, let's try to go top right, it goes right under the bar, that is a beautifully placed penalty, Thiago Silva, the defender, taking a long run up, I want to go left, but I think he's going to go right, he's putting a lot of power into this one, top, Ah, oh, beautifully placed, Mario Balotelli, Mario Balotelli, can he fire this one, stutters a bit, and Mario Balotelli, cool as ever, that's three for three for us. Here is Hesse. Hesse with the penalty. Is he going to stay in the middle? I honestly think he might stay in the middle. Let's stay in the middle. Let's stay in the... Okay. Don't know why Lafont moved left. But Digne. Let's go on his off foot. Let's go on the offside. That's what I meant. Digne. Okay. It's in the back of the net. Okay. Good save by Trap. But it ends up in the back of the net. Here is... Here is Rabio. He's going right. Oh... Lafont even called it. So if we score this one, we're going into the next round. Pereira, let's smash this top right corner. Take a little bit of a stutter. Good save by Trap, And then claims that one. Oh my goodness. What a save. Munier. Munier. Bottom left. Oh, okay, I don't know how we didn't save that one. We have to score this one to get into the next round of the penalties. Cyprian. 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 Cannot score. And uh, yeah, we're out of the Coupe de Ligue. What do you want to do? It's penalties. We still do have the Coupe Nationale, the Champions League, and Ligue 1. But PSG are going into the finals of the Coupe de Ligue. Cyprian, I thought he fired that one into the top right. But it was straight into the hands of Kevin Trapp. So we got some prize money for our 
not success <laughs> in the Coupe de Ligue. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. We don't have that much money. We're taking on Lille next time. We sit with 55 points. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.